So let me tell you what, what, what happened, okay? Let me tell you how bad things are when you're 58 years old. So I got a, I can't, you know, when, when I got home from the hospital, they told me I couldn't fucking, I couldn't take a shower because of the stitches. That's great, you know. That lasted fucking a day and a half, okay? One whiff of my nutsack. And what happened was my wife was wrapping my leg with the thing. She was actually, what me and my wife do is basically I get up, I come down here, I put the sink on the first day, and, you know, I get like a hot towel. I kept the shower running. I had to hold on to a fucking stool, and I would wipe my armpits there, my balls, and then she would wipe my back and stuff. I don't want my wife Rub, wiping my asshole on my dick. But the one night she was rubbing my leg, she was putting something on my leg, and she had to be like eight inches from my nutsack, maybe a foot, and she actually said something to me. She's like, hey man, I love you to death. We've been together for 20 years, but you gotta do something about those balls. I could smell them from here. I go, done. So now we wrap my fucking, you think I'm fucking kidding you, we wrap my leg like with a saran wrap, and I take the fucking stroller into the shower, and I just sit there, I, I wet myself up, bop, 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 and I take a shower. I'm not, there is no fucking way I'm doing little fucking, you know, hot water baths, whatever. And, you know, like I got home on Saturday, and I took like a good hot water bath after the hospital. She wiped me down. And then Saturday night, we did another one, because you know me, I like to be clean. I'm a fat dude. I got weird odors coming out of me. So that sun, Saturday night, I did the same wash again. Switched underwears, you know me, dog. I'm by the book. I got three thousand pair of underwears. Me undies upstairs. They kept sending me underwear all those years. So I, if I put, if I put a pair of underwear and fart, I change fucking underwear. That's how fucking <laughs> solid I am. So I took the fucking underwear. You know, I I took them off, and she told me she's like, dog. I don't know what's in that area there, and I stopped taking these pills. See, I was taking this. This GNC testosterone package, healthy men's testosterone. Oh, oh. Let me explain something to you. The smell of your piss. When I take Alpha Brain and Shroom Tech and Shroom Tech and uh, Sport and shit, nothing stinks like that. GNC has one pill in their in their fucking men's testosterone that makes your piss smell so bad, I'll tell you how bad it makes your piss smell. And you know, again, we got no fucking secrets between us. There are times I am sitting watching TV and I could actually smell my piss that I just pissed. When I did The Sopranos, I had to pull the wardrobe lady aside and go, look, don't smell those pants, whatever you do. Dry clean those motherfuckers because Every time I pissed, I had to piss in a hurry because there was only one bathroom for COVID. Mm -hmm. And every time I put, you ever put your dick back in your pants and there's a little leakage and you're like, God damn it. That's what was going on that day. I was pissing so much that I was rushing it and I was putting my dick back in my underwear and then my underwear would smell like a fucking goat. <laughs> so I said, fuck it. I had to tell her after the first night of shooting, I go, do me a favor, send those right to the fucking dry cleaners. Because they fucking stink so fucking bad. She was like, okay. I was so embarrassed. Like I had to pull her aside because I didn't want her to get the whiff of them, to be folding the pants and to go, what the fuck? So thank God, I, <laughs> ever since I stopped lifting weights last Thursday, the, uh, the 7th, I stopped taking those testosterone pills. They're not testosterone. They're like a booster or whatever. I don't even know if it works or not. Somebody gave me a sample and it felt good. So... I stopped taking those. So if without them, I could see with those pills, my dick and my ball combination stinking up a storm. But without those fucking things, for your balls to still stink, that's fucking embarrassing in my world. So we'll fucking shake hands and part friends. I went and took a shower, and I've been taking two showers a day ever since this fucking surgery. I just wrap my leg up with fucking saran wrap, brother, and boom, I go in there. So if my wife is telling me to my face that my balls stink. How do you think I feel in my head? Like, I, in my head, I've known for eight years, since I've had mercy, and since I was like 49, I'm like, I can't show this dick to nobody no more. This is the ugliest thing in the world. The morning of my surgery, when they put the intravenous in me, I was so fucking scared that day. I had shrinkage issues in the fucking, in the emergency room. My dick went all the way in. 
when I tell you that my dick shrunk to an inch for four days after the surgery, I'm not fucking lying to you. I don't know what the fuck it is about surgery, but my dick helmet went all the way in. I still remember before the surgery, I had a piss. I told you motherfuckers, the dude, I go, I got a piss. He goes, I don't worry about it. We'll put a tube in your dick if you have to piss during the surgery, and then we'll pull it out. I go, no, you will not do that shit. No, you will not. I will piss right here. They had to bring that, the <laughs> catheter, whatever the fuck that thing is, and I remember a girl holding it. She's like, I got it. I couldn't even grab my dick to piss in there. Piss was just sprinkling everywhere like a, like a fucking Brooklyn fucking sprinkler head. It just kept fucking going around and around in circles. So I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, this is the most embarrassing thing. They even told me at the hospital like Friday night, I think it's time to change your robe because I had to piss in the bed. So I kept pissing the thing and little bits of piss would go out. I think that room smelled like fucking death. So these are all the reasons why I wouldn't even consider. Like, we fuck around. I'll show you my balls on the internet if you like. <laughs> I've showed you my balls before. You know that the guys, the boys love to see the balls. My, those comedy motherfuckers, they love when I take my balls out at the comedy store. They loved it for years. I did it. It was a goof. But to show them to a fucking girl at my age, ever since I was 50, that's been the last thought on my mind, guys. And listen. Everybody loves a good blowjob or a good piece of ass. For me, it's been a complete different opposite of that because what do I tell my little daughter? What do I tell my daughter? That I can't be a father no more because I cheated on her? I'm going to lose all this because of my fucking daughter? So it's never even been on my fucking curriculum. It's never been on my fucking curriculum. You know, look at the friends I have, the women that are in my life. They're fucking beautiful. Kate Quigley, you wouldn't try something with Kate Quigley? Really? Oh, you're that much of a Christian? I've never tried nothing with Kate Christian. One time fucking around when I told me to, sh to show me those skinny fucking tits or whatever. But no, she's my fucking best friend, my sister. Felicia Michaels, beautiful piece of ass, was in Playboy. Ask her. Ask her if I ever come on to Felicia Michael. There's no need to. She would look at me and go, and Joey, I would never... S I mean, Felicia says the funniest fucking things you've ever heard in your life when I'm alone with her. We went, I took her to this comedy show one night and we bumped into a well-known musician that will, will leave unknown. I mean, he's one of the biggest musicians of all time. He was at a fucking comedy show and we're walking out, me and her, and a friend of mine says, hey, have you ever met this guy? And I go, no. And I'm like, hey man, very nice to meet you. I'll just give you a hint, he's got a radio show. I shake his hand, I go, very nice to meet you. You know, it's a pleasure, I love your band. Uh, this is my friend Felicia Michaels, because Felicia came with me. Felicia shook his hand. We turned away. What? Right, most people would go, I can't believe that's fucking blah, blah, blah. You know what Felicia said to me? She goes, I think he needs some hair conditioner. His hair is a bit on the dry side. I go, is that what the fuck you just noticed when you meet one of the biggest musicians in the fucking world? That his hair needs conditioning, that he's dry?